When you think of a massage ball, you probably think of something like this, a simple lacrosse ball. But now we have stepped into a new modern age where basically we have new technology such as the Wave Solo and the Hypersphere Mini. And in this video, I wanna share my honest thoughts on if smaller massage devices like this are worth buying. And if you're thinking about getting one, which one you should purchase. If it's your first time here, my name is Noah and I make videos on the top health and wellness tech that you should be paying attention to. So let's go ahead and dive right into comparing these two devices. As usual, I like to do my comparisons in three simple categories or rounds. Number one being form, number two being functionality, and number three being fun features. So for round one, form and design, when looking side by side, they both have a spherical like shape with the Wave Solo being a tad bit smaller and having a more pronounced flat circle at the bottom, while the Hypersphere Mini is a full sphere. The Wave Solo also has a wavy like texture on the surface, hence the name Wave, and are supposed to be better at retaining traction when using the device, while the surface of the Hypersphere Mini is more made of triangular grooves that are used for its traction. Now, each one has a singular button to power the device on and off and also adjust the different vibration speeds. When it comes to charging, the Wave Solo has a USB-C charging port while the Hypersphere Mini unfortunately uses a micro USB port, but it does have a protective flap which makes it a little bit better than having it just straight up exposed. In terms of accessories that come in the box for each device, the Wave Solo has a neat little pouch which makes it easy and friendly to travel with while the Hypersphere Mini comes with a small stand that you could put on your desk for easy access. With that said, I really don't see there being too much of a difference in terms of design between the two, so I would say it's actually a draw in the category of form and design with there maybe being a slight edge for the Wave Solo given the fact that it does have a USB-C port and this flat bottom is really convenient when it comes to just putting it down and making sure that it doesn't roll away. Now for the second category of functionality, this is where I like to dive a little bit deeper into each of the device's functions and their actual massage quality. Typically massage devices in a ball form are great for pinpointing tight and sore areas, especially when using on the lower back, the shoulders, the lats, the glutes. Ooh it really kills the glutes, like really, really kills the glutes. It hurts thinking about it right now. Each device has three different speeds for low to medium to high. Between the two, I do feel like the Hypersphere Mini is a tad bit firmer on the body, which can be good for some people. But for me personally, I admit that sometimes it can be a bit uncomfortable on those more sensitive areas. Now they both also have pretty decent battery life with the Hypersphere Mini being two hours and the Wave Solo beating that with just a little over three hours at 200 minutes. Now the biggest difference between the Wave Solo and the Hypersphere Mini is their sound. And sound is a big deal, especially for something that's supposed to be portable that you're gonna be carrying around everywhere. In fact, let me know in the comments below, do you agree, is sound a deal breaker for you? To my surprise, the Wave Solo was worlds quieter than the Hypersphere Mini, so much so that nine times out of 10, I would grab the Wave Solo to travel with over my Hypersphere Mini. Therabody equipped the Wave Solo with their Quiet Roll technology, which effectively mutes reverb from the surface it's vibrating on and transfers that vibration to the body. And let me tell you, it works. I've used the Wave Solo on the plane, in the office, at the gym, and never once have I worried about it distracting other people or bringing too much attention to myself. The Hypersphere Mini, on the other hand, is quite loud. In fact, the lowest speed on the Hypersphere Mini is louder than the highest speed of the Wave Solo. And funny thing is, they also don't even mention anything about being quiet on their website or packaging. So I really only use it in my apartment gym when nobody's around or if I'm at my desk in my studio. But even then, I'm pretty sure my fiance hears me in the other room. So I think it's pretty obvious that the Wave Solo wins in the category of functionality. They're both great at hitting those tight muscle areas, but the Wave Solo just wins out at the better battery life, quieter sound, and having a bit more comfortable feel during use. For the final category of fun features where I basically loop in app connectivity, this is where we start to see the two massage devices start to differentiate from each other. Both Therabody and Hyperize have their own respective apps where you can register each device and have access to different recovery and massage routines. They let you choose which muscle groups you wanna focus on or if you want something more specific of an everyday routine such as preparing to sleep, warming up for a sport, or honing in on recovering after a workout. And what's neat is they both give you insight into how you should be using the device during the routine. Now the Hyperice app specifically has great high quality videos that show a trainer actually using the Hypersphere Mini the correct way during the routine. And on top of that, they provide a clear voiceover instructing you when you need to switch sides or move to the next muscle group. Now with the Therabody app, it doesn't have those similar videos across all of its routines but it does still have the 2D diagrams that show you what position that you should be on on the Wave Solo and which direction you should be rolling, whether it's back and forth or side to side. But what is super helpful about the Wave Solo is that you can actually connect it through the app through Bluetooth. By doing this, you can actually control the different speed levels throughout the massage routine. This is great because you don't have to worry about trying to mess around with the device and change the speeds while you're using it. And for me, having the app connectivity is a pretty big deal and honestly should be a no brainer in this modern age. So with that being said, the Wave Solo edges out in the fun features department. 
So what is the final verdict? Well, if you look across the three categories, the Wave Solo comes out on top. And honestly, it still holds true. I think the Wave Solo is an overall better device than the Hypersphere Mini. It's quieter, it's more comfortable, it uses USB-C, and you can control it through your app. I also forgot to mention it's $20 cheaper at $79 versus $99. So that's pretty self-explanatory for which one you should buy. The only time I would recommend the Hypersphere Mini is if you just didn't mind the louder sound and you wanted something a tad bit more powerful. Like I do feel like some people want this exact firmness to really get into that deep muscle pain. I do think they're worth checking out because it's just great to have something this small to throw in your gym bag or when you're traveling at a hotel. Regardless, I'll make sure to put links to both devices in the description box below if you choose to use it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, stay healthy and embrace the hype. Woo!